Hello there, I hope you are all doing great today and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Ariana, for those of you who may not know, and if you do, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Supergoop Resetting SPF 35 100% Mineral Powder with the Color Science Brush on Sunscreen. This one is SPF 50. Now, I am aware that this one comes in a lesser SPF, but I like the most SPF and I don't believe that this one comes in a higher SPF, so I just went ahead and got the highest SPF in both products. So before I get into application and all of that, I'm just going to quickly compare the products. This one is, again, 100% mineral powder SPF 35. I believe the percentages of minerals are 24.7 zinc oxide, which is really good. That's really high, especially for an SPF 35 product. Right off the bat, I love the packaging. This application brush is so soft. It comes with a plastic pick in the middle so that no product basically becomes loose while it's in the packaging. You have like a nice click on off as well as a refillable end. This product, again, the packaging was pretty simple. I believe this came like wrapped in plastic. Although I will say I don't like the brush on this one as much as I like the brush on this one. And then the active ingredients in this are 23.9 percent titanium dioxide and 24.1 percent zinc oxide so a slight variance in the zinc oxide but this one does have a large percentage of titanium dioxide which does give it again more of an edge on the sun protection however titanium dioxide is known to not protect your skin against uva rays as effectively as zinc this one has a higher spf it is spf 50 and it has the higher percentages of the minerals so i will say this one is most likely going to protect your skin a bit better than the super goop i just like the packaging better i like the brush a little bit better but we're going to go ahead and look at how it looks on the skin and that ultimately will decide whether we like which product better so i think i'm going to do the super goop on this half of my face then we're going to do the color science on this half of my face and for the sake of visibility i'm just going to put my hair up the packaging on this is really good i love how this clicks into place and we're going to open it or maybe that was closed see i don't know i'm just gonna put this on in this one i got the color medium it's a nice fleshy tone i love using these products on top of my mineral liquid sunscreen because it just calms down the white cast so much and it's super convenient for reapplying your sunscreen throughout the day this is the application as you can see it's very nice it just looks like my skin it doesn't look like super cakey or anything i have some like dry skin over here that it's sort of accentuated but i mean it's dry skin it's a dry product that's kind of natural and then for this color science product i don't like this because if i go like this can you hear that it's like i don't know if this one is defective the super goop product is only 30 dollars, and then this color science product was 69 dollars. so for an almost 70 dollar product it just seems kind of cheap so i got color tan i believe yeah so we have tan on this half of my face it is a little bit darker and I will say it has more of a red tone. I don't really like the application on this product as much, to be quite honest with you. I don't feel like it comes out as effectively or as evenly. I feel like I have to work a lot harder to get this product out of the brush and then the brush itself is pretty abrasive. Honestly, the wear test is going to determine everything for us and if we like this product or if we don't. I am going to go ahead and go about my day. We're gonna come back in a few hours and we're going to see how this sets on our skin and we're gonna reapply later on. Hello and welcome back. So it has been about three to four hours since I originally put the product on my face. I will say the wear test is rather good. Both have their pros and their cons. And to summarize, I would say the super goop, the pros would be that it looks more similar to my natural skin tone. However, the con would be that it looks a bit more powdery. It does have better coverage as far as powder distribution. And then the color science side, Although the product distribution isn't as great, I will say that it does look a bit more natural. The powder does sit a bit better on the skin. This is the super goop side, and then this is the color science side. I do have more marks on this side, so it is like a bit harder to tell 
whether this one is working or not. The product distribution on this one isn't as great. You could still see a lot of the white cast underneath. It just kind of depends on if you want a bit more coverage or if you just want it to look more natural. Supergoop does come in a lesser amount of SPF, but again, distribution is really nice. The color is really nice. The brush is really nice. Neither of them, I would say, are really good for setting overall, only because after some time, my eyelids did crease, and because I am wearing a mineral-based sunscreen, it did crease white. So I would say, even though this one is advertised as a resetting powder, it isn't a strong setting powder. I do like that these are both conveniently sized, that you can just throw them in your bag, and it's a really easy reapplication of SPF. If I'm going to pick one out of the two, I'm just gonna go with the Super Goop one, only because the packaging is really convenient. The SPF is high enough, percentage of minerals is high enough, and I do like that it has a refillable option, and I do like that it's really budget friendly. I do also like that the Super Goop product comes in a wider array of shades than the Color Science. The Color Science only has four shades. The Super Goop, I believe, has five or six. I feel like with Color Science, I fall in between the tan and the medium shade, and one is too light and one is too dark, whereas Super Goop since they do have that extra shade, it's easier to distinguish between the two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know down below if you guys happen to try either one of these products and how you feel about them. Anyway, see you next time.